What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I have another review of something that I've had for a while. Um, this is gonna be uh, the Ruger Security 9. Now this weapon here is something very special because this is my first gun I've ever bought in my life. So I decided with the whole pandemic and everything like that, that I should just go ahead and be a gun owner because I've always wanted one, but I just never had the time and never set apart, you know, just like, oh, let me go look into some of the different things that they have. So I actually got something really cool. Uh, a lot of people with the Ruger, uh, they got the standard, just uh, the black one. But uh, I bought this from Academy and uh, man, they hooked me up with like an FDE frame and then I have a black slide. So it's like a combo. It's pretty sweet, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all right here. This is the box it comes in. So this is a budget uh, weapon. So you don't get the hard case like you do the Glock or anything like that. But man, let me go ahead and open this bad boy up. So y'all probably won't be able to see it, but yeah, this is how it comes in the box. Let's see, let's see. Right, so you have your pistol here. You have a lock. You have um, 15 round mag already inside. And then you also have an extra spare uh, 15, 15 round mag. So let me go ahead and open it up. Show that it's clear. I'll drop the magazine. Like the slide back, there's nothing in there, all right? Cool. So this gun is safe to talk about, safe to trigger pull. Gotta put this to the side. So it comes with this little, uh, this rubber band, <laughs> this rubber band on here, I just take it off. Some people keep it on, but I just don't. But I have done a few modifications to this weapon, so that's what I wanted to get to. So you see that clean FD frame, right? With the black slide, really cool gun. So going around to this side, this is where, this is the business side. So you have your slide lock, you have, um, you have a safety on here. The safety is kind of tough to, push up let me see if I can show you see it's hard to do it this way I, I don't know I just have muscle memory with doing it with my thumb here so it goes up and down doesn't make a click sound but yeah that's kind of strange yeah but it goes up and down right I'm trying to do it with this hand so you can see but you have to push directly up on it it's tough I can't really do it with that hand but uh See right there, Say safety, slide lock. And this gun doesn't have like a, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, like a lever to release it. So in order to take this gun down, you have to have like a Phillips screwdriver, uh, uh, not a Phillips, a, fat, a flathead. Or what I do is I take just a casing and uh, I use the little lip part and then I pry it right there being real careful and then Hold on, I have to do it this way. It's really tough. Hold on, you have to depress it a little bit. Uh, there we go. Come here. Yeah, there we go. And then it comes out, right? So this is the pin here. It just comes straight off, right? I disassembled the little uh, pin here, and then it just slides right off. Uh, I had a little trouble with the um, with the safety because it, it does get stuck, and that's the only thing I really don't uh, prefer about this weapon. That's why I really like to carry the Glock because there's no safety, and the, this is your safety, right? But as you can see right there, it's all metal right here. So I do have a little bit of wear because I do shoot it. Um, I think maybe 200, 300 rounds, so not that much. But here comes the slide side. So I do have an upgraded uh, guide rod in here. This is a steel guide rod. So the one that comes with it is um, is plastic. So um, there was a lot of muzzle flips, so I couldn't really stay on target. And that was kind of tough, but uh, I mean, once I upgraded once I upgraded that, it was really cool. And then here goes the barrel. So you see, 
the barrel has like this little bevel in it right here. So if you drop it or something like that, it keeps its shape so you can still uh, still shoot it. Pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, I did pay uh, three, 309 for this. So I, I really think I got a little deal with that, man. Cause I mean, especially now, trying to find <laughs> trying to find anything Glock, anything like a, a Sig or something like that. It's it's hard to find. It's really hard to find. But the the reassembly is really easy. You just slide it back on there. You pull it just a little bit, just so it, uh, you align that hole with the pin, and then it snaps right back in. There, and then you check it just like that, but it's a really nice uh, concealed carry. It also comes with um, a Picatinny rail right here, so if you wanna put lights, lasers, or anything like that, you can. My only deal is the sights, so I'm gonna do it like this so you can see. You see the sights? Let me bring it up a little closer. See that right there? It's kinda like Glock sights, but not really. It's kinda like, more, more smooth over, if you will. But um, yeah, and also this is a hammer fire gun. A lot of people think that, you know, just cause you don't see the the hammer in the back, it's internal, so kind of like the LCP2. Man, I mean, really sweet, really sweet gun, man. It's just the, the safety is tough, see? I'm able to get the safety going up and down now. It's just with this, this hand is hard to, to get it. There we go. But I also have an upgraded trigger from Galloway Precision. I forgot to say the guide rod is from uh, Galloway Precision as well. And uh, yeah, man, this 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 John is this John is nice. So it, it eliminates the pre-travel. So not not necessarily the take up because the take up is kind of the same. It has like let me see. It's kind of hard to see, huh? From that side. Let's do it from this way. Yeah, has a little bit of pre-travel. But once you once you get on there and then you pull pull right, there's a really solid wall, and then it breaks. But there's there's no more travel after that because you're hitting this little piece that they have in the trigger guard, so it doesn't go back anymore. With the old trigger, the one that it comes with, it'll keep pulling. But I mean that's just part of it, I guess. That's just how they designed it. But this one right here, it just stops right there, and that's what I really like. And I'll get y'all a little reset deal right here. And then the reset is still really long in order to go ahead and pull it again. But I mean, bro, I paid 309, 309 for this. But this is my uh, my uh, concealed carry. Uh, I recently just got my LTC. So uh, I rocked this in this Kydex holster. It's called Pole Proud. I got it off of Amazon because I really couldn't find like a, a legit uh, Security 9 holster. Uh, one that would fit and it has to be Kydex because I don't want a leather one that could get loose and then fall out. But uh, I'm rocking the holster on a next belt. Uh, it's a next belt, belt or whatever. So it, it's really nice, man. Like that's like one of my favorite belts to wear because it has the ratchet design. So it's really easy to cinch on your waist and it holds the weapon really well with 15, 15 in the pipe, so 15 plus one. But uh, yeah, man, this this weapon is, is really fairly inexpensive. So hey, if you're a new shooter or something like that, and you're really looking for, I guess something, even for home defense, you can use. My only thing is I think I need to get the sights looked at because it does shoot a, a little bit to the left, even when I'm aiming direct, I'm directly down, right? Directly down, it's still uh, still shooting to the to the left. And I'll let someone else shoot it too, and <laughs> it's still shooting to the left. But it, it allows you to adjust the, the, uh, the sights there. So all you need is a little Allen key, but I don't think I'm qualified to mess with that. And I, I don't wanna mess it up as far as, it, as it's shooting right now. So I'll just let somebody else, let somebody else look at it. But um, it also has a little window. So I forget what, what weapon that is. Um, it has like a little sight door, but this one has one right on top of the barrel. The barrel, right? I don't know if you can see that. There it is. So you can see if brass is in there. 
Yeah, man. All around, this is this is really sweet. I don't see a lot of people with this this color combination. I think this one this one is sweet, man. This one is really sweet, and with the trigger upgrade and with the guy rod, it was really inexpensive. The trigger was, um, I think, thirty four, so fairly inexpensive. They have a they have a red one, but I want to keep keep it all black. And uh, the guy rod was like ten bucks because I mean it's just a steel rod and everything. But man, this. This one is, it, it's it's really nice. It's really nice and I really do have fun shooting it. Um, my only gripes about this weapon would be right here. It already has started to like fade or wear on the barrel just from the, I guess, just use. And I know once I put it in the holster a few times, I oh know that actually came off. I try to keep it oiled so it doesn't, but once I, once I put in the holster a few times, I know it might start to get a little worn, like on these parts here, up here, that type of deal. But all in all, man, I, I have fun with this one. I have fun with this one. It's not too heavy on your hip, even though you're carrying 15. Um, I'm trying to see what else about it. I mean, all uh, this right here, the magazine release, it just drops. So a lot of people want to know if it gets caught or anything like that. No, it's steel. So that's another thing that's really cool that you get. There is a little bit of wear on it. So yeah, I guess that's kind of where they cut the cost a little bit, but it's all good in my opinion. And you could also switch the uh, magazine release, but if you switch it, you're still gonna have all the controls on that side. So it's not ambi, not a true ambi, but uh, yeah, man. This one right here, ooh wee! This is a serious, serious choice, man. But um, what else about it? Um, the oh yeah, it's this is American made, so I know my Glock yeah. is Austrian made, but uh, this one's straight out of the USA, man. Straight out of the USA. It also has um, uh, front serrations. You got rear serrations and everything like that. I already told you it's hammer fired and stuff, but yeah, man, it, this th this is a really like a, a beginner's gun because that's kind of what it feels like. Um, it still wears nice. It's still, um, like I say, it shoots a little to the left, but even when I'm doing my double taps, the groups are really tight. So I think that's just uh, adjusting the, the sights there. But I mean, out the box, it was <laughs> it was killer, man. It was killer, so. Yeah, if you're if you're considering getting a security nine, I would I would pick it up because especially now if you can find it in this colorway, the black with the uh, the FDE, I would definitely get it because I've only seen the all black and then I've seen like a green color with it or something. It was like a green, all green. This was green and everything. It looks kind of funky, but this is kind of tight, man. This is like a. Like, a, I hate to say it, it looks like a Call of Duty weapon, man, a Call of Duty. But uh, yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, we're still trying to find ammo. I did an ammo haul today, so uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on that. But uh, yeah, y'all, the Security 9, that's everything that comes with it. You get your owner's manual and everything. You get two mags and yeah, you get um, trigger lock comes with it but yeah those are some of the upgrades i did to it and it makes it a lot better like 10 times better because it already shoots well but once i put the trigger in there i'm able to keep my my groups tighter because i'm not readjusting anything and the guy rod is really the the main deal because this gun like it flips so you have to constantly try to keep it back on a uh, on target it's it's tough <laughs> it's tough but yeah man it's ruga security nine this is a win-win. I would definitely uh, definitely consider getting this. Oh, and one more thing. The slide release on this gun is kind of tough, but I keep my oil and everything, so it, it goes like it's supposed to. But uh, it takes a little getting used to, but I, it's 309, 300 bucks, like that's it. And that's 300 out the door. So this is definitely something I would consider picking up, man. And, um, yeah, nice little budget gun right in the holster right here. 
I do inside the waistband, so it goes right inside. This is that Amazon holster, the pole craft. So you can just kind of, it locks, locks in there, so I don't have to worry about it sliding out or anything. You can bat somebody inside the head with it, right? But uh, yeah, y'all, that's 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 pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to see with the pole craft. Yeah, uh, the the latch right here, it goes really well with my belt. So even though it's from Amazon and a lot of people don't like buying, you know, firearm stuff from Amazon, this is just a Kydex holster. Really cheap, it was like 21 bucks. So, oh yeah, man. This is a nice little setup. Maybe the whole setup costs like maybe 500. That's for the belt, for Kydex holster, ammo, that kind of thing. Ammo is very expensive now, especially for nine mil. So yeah, man, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. This is my second uh, video of uh, the games and guns. That's what that's what we're going for on this channel. So games and guns, but the Ruger is really nice. Uh, I would recommend it for more of new shooters. If you're more of an experienced shooter, I would go with something maybe like Glock 19 <laughs> or a Sig or something like that. Even if you wanted to go uh, M&P Shield, uh, you can. It's uh, M&P is going to be smaller than this because this is more. Uh, what would you what would you say? Uh, like Glock 19. It's more like the Glock 23 because of the uh, because it's so slim. The way uh, the way it's it's very slim. It's not it's not big at all. So yeah, I think that's why I like to carry it because you also get 15. You're not having to go with um, eight or six in a Glock 43. But you shoot it you shoot it a bunch. You get you get accustomed to how it is. But yep, that Ruger Security Nine. Yes, sir. See y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We out of here. Peace.